up? Um, so I'm just gonna do a Q&A slash life update thing because let's do some questions. Aww. For this place from home you visited. Sweden, I think, or Amsterdam. What amp slash effects do you use? I use a Angle Powerball 2 Live with an Orange 212 and an Axe X2 for recording. And I love both of them. They are both awesome. How did you first approach tapping? Like, where did it all start? Do you consider it to be one of your signature sounds? Ah, Basically, like, I got a lesson from Toast Navasi 2011 or something. I was super nervous. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and, uh... All he had was an audio box, like, plugged into some speakers, and I was like, holy crap, I have to, like, play it. And I was all about tech death. I was like, tech death is the thing. This is, like, tech death is the answer. So I had never, like, used the clean channel, really. So I was like, holy crap, I have to play on the clean channel in front of Toast and Abbasi. Yeah, holy crap. And uh, he showed me some 8-string arpeggio stuff, and I was like, this is actually tight. This is actually tight. So he introduced me to the clean channel, thanks, Toast and Abbasi. I had been playing piano for, like, a long time. So I think I just basically took piano and then put it on the guitar. And that's kind of how that happened. I love a love woman in light. Did you ever think about carrying on the songs longer? Just when I started to get into it, it's over. Or I'd like 14 more songs. Thank you. Um, I have like really bad ADHD or something. I cannot focus for longer than, than like two minutes. That's like just my attention span. So my songs are all like two minutes. I'm working really hard on writing songs that are longer than two minutes, so. Next album. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Anything, peanut butter, chocolate. And I don't like fruit in my ice cream, so anything that's not that. Do you like Star Wars or Star Trek? More Star Trek. If you didn't do music, what do you think you would do? I would probably go into the medical field. Post a picture of your belly button. I dare you. No, I am not posting a picture of my belly button. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, belly buttons creep me out super bad. I think they are so creepy. I don't look at my belly button, I don't like to think about my belly button. I cannot touch my belly button. I don't like looking at other people's belly buttons. Creepiest things ever. A lot of you guys keep asking about my feet. I should like hide my feet in this video. You're a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> what, are, what was your first guitar and where is it now? What was blah, 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 blah. I tried. Um, what was your first guitar and where is it now? It was a Hamer something and I traded it for a cello. What's up? Recording on a Mac versus a PC. Which do you prefer and why? I prefer Mac because it took me longer to break than the PC. I broke my PC real quick. Um, I'm very destructive. Max just seemed to hold up longer for me. Are you tired of living in Wisconsin? No, I love Wisconsin. Wisconsin is, it's like my place. Like, Wisconsin is awesome. Everyone here is really friendly. We have really good food. We have lots of beautiful nature. It's awesome. I love Wisconsin. Tour shits, everyone gets them. Number one tip for dealing with tour shits, go. I honestly don't get the tour shits that bad. I get, like, tour constipation, and that's from not drinking enough water. Drink more water, you're gonna end up in New York. There's only gonna be one bathroom at the venue, and you're gonna call in your mom crying because you haven't pooped in four days, and you're like, Mom, help! <laughs> I did! And then you're gonna take it to the bathroom, and everyone's gonna think you're a piece of shit because you've been in the bathroom for two hours. Are we alone in the universe? What motivates you to keep pursuing music? I love all the people I meet, I like touring, I like traveling, I like doing everything. I mean, you have to sacrifice a lot. Really hard to maintain relationships, friendships, jobs, living situations. Really anything that makes most people happy and comfortable, you have to sacrifice that. But I love it. Uh, Snapchat. My Snapchat is Sarah Longfield. So just like my everything. My, my handle for everything is just my name. Come to UK Tech Fest. I would love to come to UK Tech Fest. Tech Fest. Tech Fest. Sorry, took me a minute. Favorite alcoholic drink. Ooh, they spelled favorite with the O-U. Fancy. My favorite alcoholic drink is pretty much any kind of Irish whiskey, but especially nice Irish whiskey um, on the rocks. Favorite album ever. Favorite album ever. Wow. I cannot say words. My favorite album is Antidotes by Foles. Yeah. Yeah. Weirdest fan encounter. I had one guy like try to pay me to stomp on his balls after a show. That was a little weird. When did you start playing guitar or did you learn another instrument first? I started playing guitar when I was like 12, 12 or 13. And before that I played violin and piano and I loved both of them. Favorite beer? Actually, I don't like beer. One time I had a beer that tasted like pretzel. I loved it. So if you have pretzel beer, do you think you're fancy because your guitar is decapitated? No. I think I'm fancy because I play with my pinkies out. Out, What's up? <laughs> what do you worry about most? Throwing up. I'm like terrified of vomiting. 
I haven't thrown up since I was nine. Um, favorite toppings on pizza, anything that's not vegetable. What would you describe as a perfect date? Um, I don't really like go on dates too often. Uh, any guy that I've usually like ended up dating, we just like hang out for a long time. Like, oh hey, let's date. And then we just do that. First guy I ever dated, like he asked me out to the movies once. The only like actual date date story that I have. I was 16 and I was in high school and I was like really into this guy named Jacob. He invited me to the movies. So I'm like, mom, okay, tomorrow I'm going on a date with this guy. Can you drive me? Because I couldn't drive yet. Yeah, so I was at band practice. Like, I called her and she's like, oh, I'm actually at work. I got called in. Sorry. And so I called my grandma. I was like, grandma, can you take me? And she's like, okay, so I'm already late. My grandma picks me up and then we're like halfway there and she gets a flat tire. He doesn't have cell phone. And I was like, how can I get a hold of him to tell him I can't make it? And I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to make it to this date. Like, I'm going. So then I like get out of the car and I just like start running and then like my shoe falls off into the road and I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna run without my shoe because I had socks on or whatever. It was winter also, it was January. And I'm running and I get a bloody nose and I bleed all over my coat. So I'm like running and bleeding and I have one shoe on and I finally make it to the movie theater and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm finally here. And he's like, oh my God, you're covered in blood. <laughs> Like, even though I was, like, covered in blood, we still, like, held hands and everything, and my hands were covered in blood, but he, like, didn't care, so that's how I knew it was gonna be, it's gonna be this. As my first date story, that's all I got. I have a pop album coming out, because I just wrote a pop album, and then I have a few other albums coming out, so keep your eyes out, uh, keep your eyes out, keep, keep an eye out, <laughs> keep your eyes out. <laughs> for those. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, comment, subscribe, do the things, do the stuff. Hey,